Hello everyone, welcome back to Yamamoto's Folly. It is January 2nd, 1942, and our continuing struggle against the Allies. We start off with the Admiral Lutzow at uh, um, Darwin. Why is Admiral Lutzow at uh, Darwin? Well, people requested that we continue to use uh, Admiral Lutzow as a deep raider, and so that's what it's doing. Uh, we're sending it behind enemy lines to try to catch some shipping. Let's speed through this combat, and hopefully the Let's How doesn't take a torpedo. Just wasting a lot of ammo here on these PTs, though. Pretty much as soon as you hit a PT boat with a large ship like that, this uh, it's gonna go down. And we sink several of them. Let's see if we can engage another task force though, something a little meatier than these PT boats. Doesn't look like it. Ooh! SS Polak uh, hits one of our transports. Tensio Maru, and I lose some uh, lose some troops because of that. He had a couple subs down here, and they relocated to get in my way as I headed toward Wake. So good play on his part. I'll probably lose that uh, transport ship, sadly. Yep, we can hear it uh, going down. I bombard uh, Wake with the uh, Issei and the Mikasa. Now I should have a recon squadron spotting for these guys. Yeah, uh, Dave acting as a spotter for the SA, and um, we do okay damage, not great, uh, not as much as I would have liked, but uh, do a little, a few more disablements before our uh, landings go in. First landings. I haven't heard any mine hits yet. Before the end of the day, I'm sure we will. Ah, uh, there's one. Yep. Hits the mine at Wake Island. Hits the mine at Wake Island. Hits the mine at Wake Island. Oh, the Yakimo hits a mine at Wake Island. It's so sad. Um, this is a cruiser task force that we sent uh, into the Solomon Sea to try to intercept these French destroyers that were part of that French carrier task force. And they do so. Now these are, like I said, good French destroyers, so uh, there's definitely risk to my ships, but I do outgun him by, uh, by a fair amount. However, two of my ships are already burning, all of, of his ships are burning. Looks like heavy fires on the Basque, heavy fires on the uh, Tiger, or Tigre. Same difference. Heavy fires on the uh, Hatsukaze. Yeah, these are little, these destroyers are being in pain here. Definitely doing some good damage to my ship, sadly. But I think the uh, Tiger is going to go down. Yep, there she goes. Heavy fires on the uh, Ahatsu Kaze. Um, but um, we sink the Tiger and heavy fires and heavy damage on the Basque. ASW attack uh, on the Triton. This is where one of my carrier groups is moved to. I send in the uh, AMC Rogue to uh, Osthaven trying to find some tankers. Instead of finding some tankers, he finds these three allied DDs, and the Rogue sadly is sunk. Not the outcome we wanted from that. That's a shame. That's a shame. Find another one of these uh, French destroyers. The 
Forbin, it looks like. Uh, Tawakaze takes some hits. Hello, you fighting orphans of the Pacific. This is your favorite enemy, Orphan Anne, at Radio Tokyo, with music to lift your spirits and words to depress your morale. But first, Imperial General Headquarters announced today that the Imperial Navy has achieved another great victory near Rabaul with the sinking of two carriers, a battleship, and numerous cruisers and destroyers. Ah, thanks, Orphan Anne. Uh, we sunk... We didn't even... Yeah, we sunk a destroyer. So that's all we did there. And we took a lot of damage. Uh, that's right here. We had the other engagement right here. And we're on to the air phase. On to the air phase already. Just doing some sweeping here. Go, so we'll still go after these ships at uh, Akiab. Miss them all with our Nels. And bombing at uh, Shangsa. Sadly, lose a Liz to Flak there, but do uh, disable a couple squ squads at Shangsa. His H81A3s are doing some damage to my cap here. And they do get through to my Bettys, taking some of my Bettys out. Yeah, I lose an Oscar and two Bettys, just do light damage to the Hex. Mavises try to hit the uh, Basque. Looks like there's a group here and a group here of ships. Betty's going after uh, Kagayan again. Doing some good runway hits. Uh, Betty's trying to go after Soriyaba. Um, they're going to get absolutely destroyed by that cap. Yeah, so we need to adjust the range on those Betty's so they don't fly into Soriyaba. Um, yeah, eight destroyed. Not a good day in the air for me. Had a great day yesterday, so maybe today isn't going to be so good. I know we're going to lose some of those ships that uh, ran into mines at Wake. That's just a given. Some planes damage on the ground there at Clayton Chowan. Let me destroy a 167F on the ground. Doing a little damage uh, here at uh, Loyang. Go after this ground unit in open terrain here. Do some good damage to it. Still going after his ground units, but uh, don't do a lot of damage here. We do take out one of those fighters on cap with our uh, Tojos. A Banshee is trying to go after our ships here. Ooh, this would get uh, dicey. Luckily, we did have cap over them, um, but uh, if they continue flying from Port Moresby, uh, my ships here can be in a lot of trouble. E7 teams go after Jolo. Lucky that they didn't inflict any damage, and he does lose one. Liberators do the same thing. Where are they flying from? It looks like they're still flying from, from there. Hmm. I lose a Betty going after Kagayan. Mavises go after the uh, ships at Port Moresby Harbor. 
but don't make a connection. Uh, next, uh, Betty Group also does the same thing, uh, but he does have good cap over the hex, and I'm going to lose some more Bettys here. Yeah, lose two planes, take out a buffalo, but no, no other gain there. Uh, do some runway hits at Cebu, nothing major. And Betty's once again run into Cap, uh, going after the ships at Osthaven. Got lots of Betty losses this turn, um, most of them coming from this base. Uh, Sambes here, actually Kuching, um, I'm going to need to pull back their range so they don't fly to Osthaven and they don't fly to Soriyaba. So just need to make it so they their circle, so to speak, doesn't reach quite so far. We just need to set it so it's one hex short of uh, those two bases. Here comes my Vals from uh, flying from Raval, going after the destroyers here, and we're going to take both of them out. Bask and the Fortune both s slipped beneath the waves. There's still this group here, though. I'm not sure what that is. That might be his big ships that we just didn't quite reach. Right, here comes our uh, carrier strike on Port Moresby. I'm not sure if this is going to go after the airfield or if it's going after the ships at harbor. It's going after the ships at harbor. There we go. Looks like we're putting some bombs and some torpedoes. A large uh, liner there. Hopefully we can get some hits on it. There we go. Add one of the APs. Not as good of a strike as I would have liked. Uh, really not very many hits for as many planes that we launched. Uh, but we do put two torpedoes in this AP. A um, few hits on that AP, but again, not as much damage as I would like. Hopefully we'll get a second strike in the PM. That needs to get an Akyab, missing. Mavis's torpedoes, also missing at Akyab. Mavis is going in against Port Moresby. The Buffalo Cap is just tenacious. And no hits. Catalinas try to hit the Santos Maru, but miss. Those are definitely flying from Cebu. Another one also doesn't make contact. I bomb the troops there at Wake Island. Really hope we get a second uh, carrier strike this afternoon. TO24 has tried to hit the uh, CL uh, Kumori here in the Java Sea. Uh, Banshees tried to go after my planes again. Luckily, I do have some zeros in the air, so not a lot will get through, but still some do. And five go down, luckily without hitting my ships. Eddie's going after the wake runway. Mavis is still trying to hit those oilers in Soryaba Harbor, but no luck. Eddie's fly from uh, Raval and do not connect. Going after a Cotabato. Again, to try to take air out some of these planes. We found a lot of planes on the ground here yesterday, and they're still here today. We destroy a Devastator, a Vindicator, and a Warhawk on the ground. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Our Mavises come through in a spectacular manner, putting a torpedo both in the Bima and the Ciela Hobart. It'd be nice to take out a cruiser this turn. Here we go, second carrier strike, this time 
no cap gets in our way, and we're having a lot more luck, it looks like. Look at all these hits. Uh, Kates are flying without torpedoes, they're flying with bombs. I think the torpedo wardens expended. Um, but still, uh, doing some good bomb hits. Yeah, quite a few bomb hits here. Not enough to put anything uh, at the bottom, though, but they may sink later, especially the ones with heavy fires. Sweep a chainsaw. And that looks like it for the, uh, for the air phase. My sub at uh, Osthaven is getting worked over here. 13 hits, heavy damage. That, that may be the end of the uh, uh, I-164. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what he changed about his ASW. Just all of a sudden, last turn, his ASW seemed to get so much more effective on my ships. So whatever he's doing, he's uh, doing a good job. If it was one of you guys that gave him the advice on how to do that, I'll be, I'll be very upset. <laughs> And uh, this is the invasion group uh, offloading here, not a bombardment group. That's why we see the... Uh, but I do have BBs in each of the uh, invasion groups uh, to try to take the heat from some of those uh, uh, coastal guns. Do lose a lot of troops in the offloading. But he takes a lot of troops uh, from that uh, shore bombardment. And here's that other group. Other bombardment group. Hatsuzake sinks. So that was my uh, one of my destroyers that hit a mine at uh, Wake. I knew it was going to be painful. I knew it was going to be painful. Lots of uh, casualties on offloading there. I bombard at Clark. I just want to see how things are shaping up here. And if we're ready to attack here or not. Yeah, I think we're about there. We're near, uh, near 3000 AV. So we're about where I want to be uh, to start attacking and hopefully start lowering uh, his forts. And you guys asked for it. I'm attacking deliberately at Sheng Sa, uh, even though I don't know if it's the best idea or not. Uh, but he did do that shock attack a couple turns ago. He had huge amounts of disablements, and so we're hoping with this attack we can uh, destroy some squads. Let's see what happens. My troops are taking it on the chin right there. Haven't seen his move much at all. Yeah, 1 to 20 attack. We do reduce fortifications. But oh, look at all these destroyed squads. Yeah, last time I was, last time I'm sitting to you guys when it comes to an attack. So lose 18 destroyed, 858 disabled. So it only almost as goes as badly for us as it did for him last turn. I bombard at Luoyang. Just about ready to uh, attack this hex. And shock attack at Wake. Come on, guys. Yes. We take Wake. About darn time. Lots of casualties on our side. But of course, his are completely destroyed. Just pushing this little unit down here. And we take Baker Island. We destroy this uh, uh, little battalion south of Pegu. He attacks me deliberately at Nanning. 
uh, does not go well for him. 246 disabled there. And that looks like it for the turn. So we'll take a look around the map real quick and go from there. So first of all, we do take Wake. He has some subs here. We need to deal with these subs, get some ASW uh, going. Those mines are going to be a pain in the butt, so I need to find uh, some ships to, uh, to clear those when I have the chance. But he took Wake. I'm happy about that. Let's look how many ships it cost us to do that. Whew. Quite a few guys, quite a few. Not all of these were uh, uh, at, uh, at Wake, but these two definitely... Has it... Actually, these two might have been down um, by... Oh, the has a Kaze. Oh, that was sunk by uh, his ships, wasn't it? Sunk by a French destroyer. Um, but yeah. Tensu Maru taken out by a Japanese sub. Uh, Hakasian Maru taken out by a mine. Rogue, of course, taken out by um, those uh, destroyers at uh, Osthaven. Bad move on my part. I should have known he had some surface combat uh, task force there. Um, I was got greedy uh, going after all those tankers that I had seen in and out of Osthaven. Let's see what the Allies lost last turn. What? Hermes? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Uh, that's not reliable. Uh, Hobart. Um, again, I don't trust Hobart. We only put one torpedo in her. Now, the Tigger, the Basque, the Forbin, those all make sense. And the Waipara, that makes sense too, near Port Boresby. Would have hoped that we sunk more shipping with how many bombs we put into ships at Port Boresby. So, a little disappointed with that. A little disappointed. Let's take a look at Port Moresby. So we have lost sight of his surface combat uh, task force, his um, his battleships. I'm not sure where those wandered off to. Um, we have our detached surface forces from. Um, our carrier task forces uh, here chasing things down. Um, and I'll probably continue with these depending on the ammo situation. Try to continue to chase those down and maybe go after uh, Port Moresby. Yeah. But so far I don't see anything else that could cause us problems. So we may be able to clean up this uh, transport task force, which would be which would be nice. I have bad intel here. It says zero bombers, but we know quite a few of those banshees were flying from uh, Port Moresby yesterday. So Lutzo runs in has that duel with PT, PT boats, but isn't able to accomplish anything else, sadly. So she'll hang around here, do some more deep raiding, see if we can't intercept these ships moving right in here because that's their most likely method of escape real quick I think is going to be moving here and then over to Soriyaba so 
we'll check that out. We'll come from the other side, this group. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we see his carrier still here. Not much I can do about that. Not much I can do about that at all. Yeah, you go home. You're crippled. Check. Don't go so far. Uh, you can go to Georgetown. Okay, so we find carriers here. Um, same carrier group, probably. And this is where it says the Batavia went down. Um, excuse me, the Hermes went down near Batavia. I wonder if uh, another plane... I'm not sure why it says the Hermes went down this turn. This It's just very strange, right? I don't see anything in the ops report either on that. In any case, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's look at plane losses real quick. I feel like I took it on the chin today. Yeah, 53 losses. Most of those Betty's... Oh, look at those Betty losses so high. That's really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. But we know why. Just... Our range on our Bettys was too long. We moved them to Kuching. They were pre previously at Miri, and because they were that much closer, the range settings took them into uh, these uh, these places with cap, and uh, they were they were destroyed as a result. So, in any case, that's the turn. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the Discord. Take care, everyone.